now we want to complete the cycle. If I look at the animator, we want to make a full circle back to idle from crouch. So I'm going to make the transition, organize it a little bit. Okay. And the transition parameter is going to be based on the default index. So if the index equals zero, we go back to idle and get rid of the exit time. Adjust the graph. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the crouch idle folder and I'm going to create the indexer. So player crouch idle indexer and I'm going to put one in the name because if you press down the indexer the index is going to be one. I'm going to go into crowd title and add the ability, the indexer. And I think I need to fix the code a little bit. So let me go in there. And in the update, if we don't meet the requirements, we set the index back to zero. Okay, save and go back to Unity. And I want to rename some of the indexer file names because I want the names to be consistent. I need to crouch. Where's this? So this should be the hanging idle index, not the crouch hanging idle indexer and it's the indexer that switches the index to one. Let me put it into the right folder. Let me rename this hanging idle. I want to make everything clear. So instead of the ledge grab, it's hanging idle. Rename everything. And I think there was one more indexer here. This is from the jump ability. Okay, so I'm going to rename it jump indexer. And it's the indexer that makes index one. And I'm going to put it into the jump folder. Okay. Jump normal indexer. Let me make sure I have renamed everything correctly. Okay. So all the abilities that affect the same type of animation, they're all in one place. Okay, so now that we have the indexer between crouch and idle, if I click play and test it, if I go up and hold the down button, it's going to stay. But if I let go, then it's going into the idle animation. And now we can do whatever we want again. Okay. Looks like the detector is detecting the, um, the collider here.
this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the ledge script and I want a static static method mm, that tells you whether a game object is a ledge or not. If it doesn't have the ledge script, it's not a ledge, otherwise it's a ledge. Then I'm gonna go into move forward, control T, move forward. I'm gonna go down to the check front function. Okay, I'm gonna add another condition here. So if the hit object it's not a ledge, that's when we move forward. So false here. And I'm gonna go into the ground detector and do the same thing. Again, I'm gonna add another condition here. Whatever is in collision with the detectors, it cannot be a ledge. Let's save, go back and test it. Okay, looks good. I think the transition might be a little too slow. I think it's good enough. I can always fine tune this more later on. And we can also jump to the lighting, which was not intended. The hell? I think there was a bit of lag there, but the point being, we can jump on ledges now. We can also hold crouch and then get back up. Okay, looks good. There's still a lot of things that we haven't taken care of. Things like this. If you hit your head, we haven't coded anything for that. But I think I'm going to take care of the little details later on. For now, I'm happy that the ledge grabbing works. So that'll be it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'll see you guys soon.